Hello, everyone, and welcome to Meow Mix, the Carolina <laughs> Panthers podcast. My name is Steven. My name is Jerry. We won! We won! Oh, my God! The Panthers have won <laughs> a football game in 2024. 36 to 22. In they look, law, a road game, nonetheless. They, they look competent. Oh, my they goodness. They look like a real football team. Yes. I, uh, hey, all <laughs> listeners, video, you know, podcast, I'm sorry. I've had the hiccups for the past seven, seven, eight hours, and I've done everything I can to get rid of them. And I'm so sorry. It, start, it, it start, started before the game, and I can't. I can't get rid of them. You know, every <laughs> my wife and I have a tradition of taking a shot every touchdown, and we have we continue this tradition. It's the first time that recently that I've come yeah. on here because of that. You've and, been very, very, very <laughs> sober for the last like year and a half. Exactly, and <laughs> not this time. Since the last time Andy Dalton played, probably. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, that's the big story, right? I mean, you pull Bryce and you put in Andy Dalton, and this team looks completely different from top to bottom. Yeah, I mean, starting off with the first drive, it just looked competent. I mean, that yeah. is something that we have not seen on a Carolina offense. <laughs> I mean, honestly, since Teddy Bridgewater, like it is scary how, like consistently, yeah. Like Teddy Bridgewater ha was confident, but like or competent, but. But not scoring touchdowns while Teddy Bridgewater did, or while Andy Dalton did. Yeah, and let's not um, let's not get too ahead of ourselves with what this team is going to look like over the course of the next several weeks. Uh, we all remember the Sam Darnold start, right? That was the first three games of that season were pretty awesome, um, and it fell apart quickly. But this is really nice. I mean, honestly, it does show. I think for the first time all season, what Dave Canales' offense wants to be, right? And I think the play calls were really good for the most part. A couple of questionable ones here and there. But again, rookie head coach, he's still learning. I thought Andy Dalton played really well, but not so well that this is like a unicorn game, right? I think he left a lot on the table. I think the offense overall left a lot on the table, as did the defense, which we'll talk about. But so what's encouraging maybe the most to me is not only did we win this game going away, but there's still a lot to improve on and a lot that will be improved on. Yeah, I, I think the play calling, especially like at the beginning, it felt like a whole different team, even though it was the same play call, oh, play calls, because mm -hmm. quite simply put, I mean, Andy Dalton made the throws that he needed to throw. It wasn't like, oh my God, such a tight window that he made the throw. It was like, hey, he was a open. A couple got... of them, but for the most <clears throat> part, yeah. He, he was making the easy throws. He was making the competent, you know, read in making the throws. I mean, Chuba made his plays, whether passing, mm -hmm. receiving, or what have you. And my fantasy... Pretty much those two. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> and my, my fantasy team is definitely going to reward from that in the future. Oh, you got... if they can... oh, okay. I've got Chuba and Deontay Johnson on my uh, fantasy. On your bench. Yeah, they they yeah. were on the bench today. Okay, <laughs> That's okay. I, I'm not throwing them out there week one, the first week. Andy Dalton's out there. They of course done. not. Of course not. But, Hopefully you didn't miss their big game. No. no. Yeah. Hopefully not. <laughs> but it felt it felt different. It felt. It, did. it felt like Dave Canales. As much as I was nervous about him being our head coach, I felt like. Okay, it was more of a Bryce problem than it was an, a Canales problem. At this point, it feels that way, right? I mean, um, I, I and you kind of feel bad for Bryce a little bit. I mean, at least I do, just for the guy, because I mean, he's going to get a lot of shit, you know, earned or not, and some is and some isn't, um, for just, you know, how different this team looks and how good it looked today versus how bad it's looked with him at quarterback and you honestly it's hard to come to any other conclusion other than Bryce just is not ready for the NFL and may never be ready for the NFL. I think that that was kind of my going away statement was like Bryce needed time to sit. 
I think that mm-hmm. that's what this game really showed me is yeah. a simple fact that he did, was not ready for the NFL. He needs to. I mean, we saw it last game in the game before that he was just tippy toeing. He was he was so. I don't want to see scared because if a three hundred thirty pound man was running at me, I would be scared. Well, he had no confidence. Yes. And I think that maybe this helps him in the future. I think Andy Dalton needs to continue to start. I think mm-hmm. Bryce Young needs to sit, watch Andy Dalton. And I he, they've gotten trade offers, but I'm curious to see if they continue this route to see if maybe Bryce could step up. I, I don't want to take anything away from Andy Dalton. Dude, dude balled out. He yeah. has not yeah. started in a year or so. He balled out. He read the right reads. He made the right plays. Made no mistakes. Real quickly, threw for over 300 lo- yards, like you suggested that we take that bet. Three touchdowns, no interception. I mean, yeah, was any ill throws there? I didn't that, see he any. Had, he had one or two that uh, could have been intercepted. I thought uh, one that was that should have been intercepted. So he did get a little lucky on a couple of plays, but for the vast majority of his throws they were on target uh some of them were very very tough throws like that touchdown pass to Deontay with with you know guys coming down his throat he kind of throws it off his back foot a little bit but that was a perfect throw and then the one to Thielen as well was just absolutely on the line the perfect placement and just yeah I mean those two throws alone are better than any I've seen Bryce throw in his entire career. I mean, it's, it's night and day from week one and two. Yeah. I mean, that, that's all you got to say is night and day. I mean, and even last year, I mean, almost all of last year. I mean, we it's scored just, thir- it's, 36 points. That's like it's, three it's games. It's been a long time since we've had this as mm-hmm. Panthers said, a really long time. And it feels really good. <laughs> So good, it feels guys. really good, man. Like you just can't. And let's talk about Chuba a little bit, man. Like he got his carries. He got 21 carries in this game. Um, he ran really hard. He had five receptions for like 50 something yards. I'm not looking at the stats, but I know that's what it was. Five. So, I mean, a hundred. Five receptions, yeah. 55 yards, and a touchdown. Yeah. So Receive. what? 100, 169 total yards for him in this game. That's awesome. Like that's what Chuba Chuba showed what he can be today. And then, the Panthers, the, you know, Canales showed I think what he can be today. Deontay Johnson had a career day. But this was just a great, great game for the offense. I agree. I mean, we saw Leget. We saw Leget yeah. actually yeah. catch a pass. Yeah, he I got mean, his. We got his wheels up a little bit. He was running. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, good. What, what do you want? I mean, this is the type of game that I feel like should be the backbone of his offense. I mean. Mm. Deontay Johnson, eight, eight receptions, 120 yards. Then you have Chuba with five. I th- I would like that to go down a little bit and someone else go up. But No, I, lo- I love the running back being involved in the past. I, I love it too, but f- being the second leading receiver is a little nervous to me. But- well, again, it was a productive second receiver, though. Like, he five for 55, is that's that's pretty good. Yeah, 11 yards yeah. per reception and five targets. So, yeah, I, I agree with you. And then Leggett, like I said, 42, uh, Thielen, he was also involved. It wasn't like he was neglected three for 40. I know I'm going over the stats here, but I mean. No, that's fine. I mean, yeah. It was just, uh, you know, everybody was involved. And they seemed to be enjoying themselves. They were having fun. There were lots of smiles. You know, uh, it was just, a again, it wasn't a perfect day, but it was a perfect day. I mean, it's perfect day considering the fact that the Panthers have not had this type of day in three years, four years since Steve Wilkes, I'm, I would say. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. Yeah, I mean, it, I would say the way I'm feeling right now feels very much like that Steve Wilkes, the beginning of that Steve Wilkes turnaround. Um, again, I yeah would love to for Steve Oates to be leading this team right now. But th- this feels really good. And I, I know I, I'm not going to go back and look at the stats for the last several years to see if this is the best offensive outing. 
but it does feel like it, right? I mean, I, I'm, I am honestly, there's not even a thought in my head. At least the past two years, this is this is the best outing. I'm, yeah. I'm, it I, feels I, like the best from the top down, right? Because not only was the offense really good, the defense was really good. Defense stopped them. Like, the 22 points is a misnomer. I mean, they yeah. scored 15 garbage touch Garbage points. time. Yep. I mean, this this team just beat Baltimore. Right. This is a solid team in the Las Vegas Raiders. Do I think they're playoff bound? Probably not. But I not. also think that they're a solid team. I think Gardner Minshew is a solid quarterback. I think... I, mean, I like their coach. I think they're fairly well coached. Yeah. I mean... What do you want from this offense or this whole team is what they did. I mean, basically in the fourth quarter, they just laid back. They were up, what, 30-something to 33-7, to seven, so they were, they laid back. Yeah. I'm okay yeah, with they that. Were playing, they were playing run-the-clock-out defense, right? And, and we're all good with that. they didn't run the clock out a little fast enough on that first one. That first touchdown was pretty quick. But, yeah, I mean, that's this is what we want. We want to see – a time in the fourth quarter where the Panthers can go to that prevent style defense and just give up the little chunks, but bleed the clock. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what we want to see. And that's what we saw today for the first time in like forever. I mean, uh, when's the last time we could bleed the clock in the fourth quarter? Dude, we know. haven't had a lead in like two, <laughs> three years. <laughs> I mean, I know quarter, my yeah. voice are, is harsh right here, but I mean, be honest, like we have not had a lead at all. At all yeah. in so long. I, and we did not trail in this game. I, Ever. Boom. Right? So, that's insane. Again, it's so, it's just so different. It just, it's, it feels so, it's like a different team. It's like rooting for a different team today. And it feels so good. So good. I mean, hats off to Michael Jackson. He oh, Mike Jackson did a great today. game. Like, I um, think he gave up one big play that I saw. Yeah, but again, I, I you know, I'll, I'll have to go back and look, but I know he was everywhere. He was all over the field, breaking up passes, had the interception. Just a really, really good game for him. Um, Horn, I think, did a pretty good job on Devontae Adams. Uh, four catches for 40 yards for him. So That's a win. That's yeah. That's a great win. Like, yeah. you say, hey, Devontae Adams is going to get four for 40. You take that every day. That yeah. dude is a beast. Yeah. Secondary over the middle did a good job on Brock Bowers. You know, kind of shut him down three for 41. Again, th this is a guy that has a, the ability to be a 100-yard tight end, and they kind of kept him. And, and well, I think one of those was on that last drive. So Yeah. I mean, honestly, I have him on my fantasy. He's been a the one of my backbones in – yeah, you're right. He he's a great player. He he's done great. Yeah, he's going to be like the next Travis Kelsey, I uh, think. Yeah, Brock yeah. Bowers, guys. Any Vegas Raiders fans listening to this, dude, you got a stud. You, you got a good have one. a yeah. stud. Um, yep. I, hey, hey, sweet Caroline. Da, 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 da. Da. Yeah. Ah, gosh. I, 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 I guess nice. I'm just excited that we won. Yeah. I feel, I feel like the past 10 minutes that we've been recording, I haven't had a hiccup. So that's double win for me. Yeah, I didn't even realize. Yeah, I did. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> you're probably relieved. Yeah. Did you, you know, did you hear about that story about that one teenager, teenage girl that had the hiccups for year, like 14 years or something? And she was on one of these Dr. Phil or some show like this. And just hiccuping, the, like the, she was like, like every five seconds. Oh God, that would be. I can you imagine for your whole life? Oh, oh my God, I I, I hated it. Or the it girl that sneezes does the little micro sneezes. Okay, we're so off topic, but like, <laughs> like seriously, I had the hiccups for like seven hours, and it's just been driving yeah, me nuts. Well, you know who doesn't have the micro sneezes? Andy Dalton. No. How about that segue? The Red <laughs> Rifle. The Red Rifle is here red in Carolina. Rifle. 26 of 37. Dude, 319 what a... yards. Average of 8.6 per pass. Three touchdowns. No picks. 
pass rating of 123.6. Now, my bold prediction was 350 passing yards. I feel pretty good about this one. Oh, yeah. I mean, I feel pretty good about this. This one. game was exactly what I want. I mean, yeah. you have a hundred. It's, it's what modern football is. It's a 300 yard passing game, a hundred yard receiving or a a hundred yard rushing. receiving and rushing game. Yeah. I mean, yeah, all three faces. I right? mean, like, you have three sacks. Oh my God. Sacks. Yeah. They got three sacks. Uh, and you know, we were wondering what this team was going to look like with Derek Brown, you know, no longer in the rush defense was stout. I mean, 16 stout. carries 55 yards for the whole team of the Raiders. I, uh, the Raiders and, need to work on their. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, go you, ahead. But the Raiders need to work on that rushing attack. I mean, they had yeah. 16 rushes and 40 t passing plays, but realistically, like 3.4 yards for your starting running back. You have to get that going. Yeah, I'm not sold on Zamir White. I know he looked good in limited action last year, but. I. Yeah. Yeah. They need a bell yeah. cow to They miss Josh Jacobs. They need a bell cow and to spread it. I personally think Madison should start and Zamir White Agreed. get get five, seven carries. Yeah. I mean that's someone who drafted Zamir White, but in <clears> fantasy, <throat> I he A lot of he's references not the, to your fantasy team in this. Well, yeah, I know because that's, that's what I my mind you got all the on. you've got all the Raiders and all the Panthers. I do. This is a lot <laughs> of my second. Teams that everyone was fighting to draft. I this is my second team right here. Oh my god. <laughs> um. Well, maybe you look at Trey Turn Ch Trey Tucker. He looked pretty good, pretty fast. I did not know who he was before this game. I did not either. But yeah, good but, game. Uh, I, I was kind of impressed. Uh, well, let's continue to go down the stats here. We'll hit the ones that you haven't already hit. Uh, Chuba, 21 for 114. Miles Sanders. You know, Miles Sanders, seven carries, 17 yards. Did get the touchdown, but did not. was not impressed by Miles Sanders in this game. No, and I, I feel like Chuba <laughs> is a real... Guys, I know, like, I'm listening to the radio, and people are acting like Chuba Hubbard isn't the guy, and I'm like, dude, w wait, watch Chuba. He yeah. runs hard. He runs fast. Like, I don't get me wrong. Brooks is probably going to be better. He's just a more well, physical type of Brooks, running. Brooks is certainly going to be better than Sanders. Yes. San and once Brooks is healthy, Sanders gone. I agree. Like, with I don't know. That. They're not going to cut him, but he's going to be inactive most weeks. I bet. Yeah, I mean, because Blackshear's going to have that return yeah. game option and stuff like that. Like, but yeah, I mean. I think Chuba's a real deal. I think he could be a solid yeah. number one guy for some team. Will he be the premier CMC or something? No. But no. I think he's a top top 15 type of running back, 10 to 15. Yeah, I'd put him in the range of like Pacheco. Mm -hmm. um, maybe Derrick Henry right now. You know, that sort of that bottom, bottom 10. Yeah, 10 to 15 range, like you said. Um yeah, I think Chuba, Chuba runs really hard. Chuba's fast. He cuts well. You know, he really impressed me in the receiving game today. Yeah, it, that's not been a highlight of his game in the past, but he showed that he can do it. Yeah, I think this this <clears> year <throat> he really worked on it in the off season, and it kind of yeah. shows. I think I read where he worked on it in the off season. I don't remember exactly where I read it, but Probably I mean the internet. <laughs> yeah, it was the internet. I don't yeah. know where, where I was, exactly. I was more or less. HTTP colon slash slash <laughs> www. But, I mean, 5 for 55, I mean. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, that's better than any like other it. second receiver we had. I mean, I was kind of sad Sanders, Jatavion Sanders didn't make more of an impact. But at the same time, well, Trimble uh, did. Did you? I, I don't know. You... You were in and out of the second half, but uh, Tavion Sanders on one offensive play, it seemed like he was trying to rush Andy Dalton, and he ran right into Moten. I mean, it completely blew the play up, but that was <laughs> Tavion Sanders did not have a good day today. Okay, did not have a good day. I I, I admit, yeah, I missed that. I'm... Yeah, yeah, 
that was. You'll have to find that. I'm sure it'll be shown on clips. Yeah, I I will. I'm yeah. gonna rewatch the whole game. I'm. I was a little yeah. tipsy in the second half, guys. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Uh, Deontay <laughs> Johnson, eight from 122, one touchdown. That eight, 122 yards is a career high for him, uh, which wow, actually really? surprised me. Yeah. Yep. So he has a new career high. They showed that graphic uh, during the game. I think yeah, they, I think it was a career high at like 117. So he beat his own career high in the game. Uh, did get the touchdown as well. Good to see him have a, a really good game. Right? And because seemed... Dante Jackson has been looking pretty good for uh, the Steelers, like really good for the Steelers. Um, really nice to see Deontay have a good game. I think he wanted it. It looked like he wanted it. It looked yeah. solid. I, I felt like that was one of the – I think when Canales came out, I felt like he had a couple notches that he wanted to do. Was Deontay Johnson, he wanted mm-hmm. him to get the ball. He felt like Chuba needed to get the ball running the ball. And it felt like that's what the strategic plan was. And it was a good play. Good plan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. really good plan. Um, Leggett, two for 42. So Leggett had his first big play of the season with a 35-yard catch and run. Uh, I thought he looked really fast. And, yeah, uh, nice to see. I thought he maybe could have taken the guy on a little bit instead of you know, uh, I think he kind of went out of bounds, but yeah, I liked it. Um, and then Thielen three for 40. Now Thielen got hurt on the, his one touchdown reception. Canal said after the game was a hamstring. So TBD. Oh, yeah. yeah. He, he, I mean, we'll he was grabbing that pretty hard. <clears throat> yeah. So, um, Andy Dalton after the game, he, he mentioned that he, he felt like he tweaked something and I saw him and Dalton talking on the sidelines a lot. So, Maybe it's not that bad. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. I, uh, I Thielen was laughing and joking on the sidelines in the fourth quarter. Well, so yeah, it, when you're yeah. winning, it's a lot yeah. better. <laughs> Feels a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> um, Tommy Tremble, two, three catches, twenty nine yards. So Tommy had a really nice catch in the and first I felt quarter. Like, I was gonna say, I felt like a couple of those were pretty contested catches that were mm-hmm. solid plays by him. I mean, obviously, Andy threw it where he needed to throw it, but I mean, yeah. Yeah, but I thought, especially the first catch was he went up and got that one. That was a really nice catch. Yeah, I I know he's not Brock Bowers, Stephen. I mean, Brock Bowers, I I do believe is going to be a stud in this league. Yeah. But I think that's a solid performance by a tight end. I was happy with that. Three for twenty nine. I, I mean, yes, he can have more, but I think this is what we're going to expect from a tight end position here. In I'm a, right I now. was happy with Tommy Trimble's performance today. Um, I was not happy with Jatamion Sanders' performance. I, if he could have had the same, sorry, I don't know if you heard that through the speakers or not. Uh, but... No, I heard it. Okay, uh, my maybe it was from you. No, it was for me. Um, anyway, if Sanders could have had this kind of the same and combined, they were around sixty yards. I think that's nice for the tight end spot here. But um, yeah, I was happy with what Tommy Trimble did today. Uh, the Mingo three for eighteen. Nothing really to talk about there. Sanders two for thirteen. So Sanders did add uh thirteen receiving yards here. Yeah, um, I mean Yeah. Nothing wrong with Miles Sanders as your backup getting that. I do think that he he needs to play better in the running game though. Yeah. So general. I mean combined your running backs had what, seventy five receiving yards? Yeah. Or seventy what, sixty nine, something like that. Sixty five. Seventy five. Thirty one. All right, here we go. 55 plus. 68. 68. 68. Uh, okay, that doesn't really change much. Okay, Michael Jackson, we talked about nine tackles, three pass defense, one interception. Great game for him. I mean, when you shut down the other corner or the other receiver, Devontae Adams, I mean, Horn, I, I don't know how much more you could say besides he shut yeah. down Devontae Adams. Yeah, I mean, Michael Jackson, you know, even though he had – Nine tackles, which is a lot for a corner. Um, it didn't feel like he got beat up. It felt like they yeah, were just dropping like the ball to related. Right? Yeah, it was like, yeah. hey, we know Devontae's covered. Let's go over here. Yeah. And Michael Jack, <clears throat> Mike Jackson, he doesn't want to be called Michael Jackson. Mm, okay. Played well, three pass deflections, like yeah. nine tackles yeah, means that they there. caught the ball and he hit them. And they and they were kind of playing a little soft in the secondary, mm-hmm. just kind of giving up a lot of underneath stuff in the game. So, 
you know, we'll have to see in his final, you know, grades and stuff from PFF how many passes he actually gave up and things like that. Uh, Shaq Thompson, six for four, or six, I'm sorry, six total tackles. Um, did have a QB hit. I thought Shaq, uh, he missed a tackle early that was pretty egregious, um, but otherwise played fairly well. Yeah, I, I felt like he played pretty solid. I agree with the missed yep. tackle. And then overall, just yep. he is what he is, man. He's a solid player, man. <clears throat> yeah. We'll hit a couple more of these. Uh, LeBray Ray, or I'm sorry, uh, Josie Jewell. Um, two pass deflections. One of them should have been an interception at the end of the game there. Uh, but five tackles, you know, I saw him, saw him a few times. I uh, thought he looked pretty good. Didn't see anything horrendous that he did. So, again, another guy I think that, you know, once the grades come out, it'll be a little more interesting to see. Uh, anybody else kind of jump out at you? Jadavion Clowney got got a sack. No, uh, I just thought, you know, LeBray Ray getting a tackle you know, or a sack, it just felt it felt nice since Derek Brown wasn't there mm-hmm. that, you know, yeah. you kind of look at it and go, hey, at least he did solid. Jaden Peavy as well. Yes. Jaden Peavy. I mean, both of those guys really played well in Derek Brown's absence. Yeah, I mean, this offense has been pretty good. Las Vegas Raiders offense has been pretty good the first two weeks of the season. <laughs> so, I mean, I, w- I was very happy with in his absence, yeah. I mean, again, J.C. Horn, you 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 kept Devontae yeah. Adams, yeah, in check. J.C. played well. Yep. Um, yeah. Overall, like you said at the beginning here, this the twenty two points is more than it than it should have been, right? Like that's mm-hmm. it's more than it really was. The game was uh, over when this they game scored was over those. in the fourth. Yeah, it was over towards the end of the third quarter. So, um, yeah, I thought Johnny Hecker did a pretty good job in punting today. Um, he had one that one like inside the five and then another touchback as well. So thought he did pretty good. Eddie P made all his kicks. All you can ask for. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Eddie P you, you're a bit solid. I'm not going to knock you at all. Yeah. Blackshear had a nice punt return that, uh, I think set up a scoring drive. So, uh, good job there. Uh, real quickly with the Raiders here, Minshew 18 for 28, 214 yards, one interception, one touchdown. Uh, I thought he was pretty I I didn't think he played very well today. No, he was very Um, pedestrian. I mean, this is the guy who was throwing like 77% completion percentage before this week. And you go 18 for 28 to 14. I mean, yeah. yeah. The Panthers played just excellent defense today. Just Mm -hmm. excellent defense. Uh, Aiden McConnell came in, went nine for 12, had that touchdown there at the end. Again, I wouldn't read too much into that. Although I'm sure Raiders fans will. Um, (laughs) <laughs> Zamir White, 10 for 34 yards rushing. Uh, Minshew, 3 for 14. And then Madison, only three rushes for seven yards, did get the touchdown. I agree. I think Madison's the better running back there. I do, too. I think they need to flip that as. Yeah. I, I'm not a Vegas Raiders fan at all. But, like, yeah. if if you're listening to this, I think that's the coaching-wise what you need to do. Make Madison take more of the brunt and then have Zamir White as the Change flash the in the guy. pan. Yeah. Yeah. Trey Tucker, hello. Yeah, seven for seven receptions, ninety six yards, and a touchdown. Again, I liked him. I thought he looked good. Jacoby Myers also, you know, just solid. Seven catches, sixty two yards, and a touchdown. Uh, and then we talked about Brock Bowers, Devontae Adams. Uh, Madison did have three catches for thirty seven yards, so he's more involved in the passing game. But uh, defensive wise, he had Robert Spillane. He felt like he was all over the place in this game. Eleven tackles, had a sack. Um. Yeah, another tackle for loss. Yeah, I, I thought he was really good. I will say I, I'm not familiar with this guy at all. I mean, mm-hmm. I, he's a linebacker, 28 years old. But, yeah, he he balled out today. Hats off to you. It's always nice to do a hats off when you get a win because it's like, hey, you did you played a great game, but we still won. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Um, Marcus Epps. Hats off. Hats off. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, my Crosby was, you know, he was pretty banged up in this game, but the Panthers were handling him pretty well. They they oh, called that out early in the game. The O line, man. Yeah. O line has been looking good this whole season, and this is a game that makes them look good as well. I mean, I know previously they they looked good on PFF scores and stuff like that, but without scoring. 
yeah. people in the media, people who don't know, think, oh, the O line still is garbage. I mean, you heard, I heard Cam Newton talking about it uh, on his podcast about how bad the offensive line was and how they didn't have a running back and they didn't have this and they didn't have that. Like, you know, it's, it's, if you're not paying close, it's, if you're not a fan of the team, you don't really understand that these things have gotten better. Yeah. No, the, the own line looks solid. Like it looked really good. That, like, a couple of, couple of blown pressure or blown uh, blocking assignments I saw, but for the most part, they created a lot of time. Like I would say, top 15 offensive line if not top 10 like lower top 10 right now yeah i mean they've they've done a really good job like it, it's just a simple fact that no one else has been helping them and right. andy dalton the red rifle has been did what he needed to do it was a lot yeah. of checkdowns a lot of like a lot of plays uh, where but not was, a lot of check it was checkdowns at the right time Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. it was not stupid play. It was who's open. Okay, I got you. I didn't say. I don't know if he threw the ball away once. I, don't I can't know. think. I can't think of one where I, he threw I, the ball away. I can't either, and I'll have to go back and watch. Yeah, he did have That's... a nice uh, scramble. Felt like it went for ten plus yards. Um, actually. What did it go we, we could check that. It, it yeah. went for a negative one. That's what his long shows. Oh, that one was called back. That's right. That one was called <laughs> back on the. That one was called back on that. Those holding penalties. Those back to back. Holding penalties. It, that's. I did not think that that second one was a penalty at all. Well, I mean. I mean, I, always, I didn't see anything. There's always that those questionable. Let me. I, know, I, know. I mean, Panthers went seven for. 51 on penalties well yeah and I, I, I thought that was a fairly i thought the last couple of panthers games have been pretty poorly officiated but this one was there were some bad calls in this one i mean yeah the like nfl really needs to do something about officiating in my opinion just in general i think they need yeah to. we've talked about it many times like make them full-time why not make them make them full-time make them have serious penalties for screw up slash have the eye in the sky more helpful like yeah i i know this is not a nfl podcast so like no but, but this is relevant yeah it's just it, it needs to happen you're a I mean, billion there, there dollar was, cost company there was a catch by tremble that they called incomplete on the field and it was a very <laughs> obvious catch there was not even a an, a reason to think that it might not have been a catch and the eye in the sky did eventually overturn that and, and move the Panthers up. It wasn't a first down or anything, but it was obviously a catch. It was just really weird, like some really bad misses. But um, anyway, uh, just looking real quick at um, some of the team stats here. Panthers hey, with five. Yeah. Do, do you want to take a quick break and come back? Okay. Because we got like okay. four minutes left. Okay. Let's yeah, take we'll a quick be, break. We'll be right and then, back. Mm-hmm. And we are back, mostly because, you know, our our time was up on uh, Zoom. <laughs> Great explanation, Jerry. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to say 5 for 12 on third down for the Panthers. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, they started out pretty hot. I think they were like 4 for 5. Yeah, they were. They were They uh, were moving the ball. They were doing really well on third down. It was just a simple fact that, I mean, eventually it caught up to them. But, I mean... Again, I hate going back to the previous games, but I mean, they were not converting Again, at all. Right. Bryce yeah, was this, just miss throwing. Yeah, and only twelve third downs. Like they mm -hmm. only came across twelve third downs, and a lot of those third third down misses ended up being field goals in this game. Three of them. So, you know, pretty good, pretty good improvement. I mean, massive improvement from massive. what we've seen. They were they're two for twenty two to start the season, and for third downs. Two for twenty-two. That's historically insane. bad. Historically bad. Uh, Four hundred and thirty-seven total yards for the Panthers. And then the the big stat I love: time of possession, thirty-six minutes for the Panthers in this game. That's perfect. Yeah, that's, that's what perfect. that's that's what they need. I mean, yeah. turnovers zero. Yes. Raiders one. I mean, yep. Won the turnover battle. 
And that one, I mean, it didn't even matter. Like, the Panthers were playing so well, uh, even without forcing turnovers, but just taking care of the ball, right? That's mm -hmm. so important. Yep. I, I and... just, it's night and day from the past two weeks to this week. It's just, yeah. I, I hate saying this, but I, as someone who really was hoping Bryce would be the guy, I just, I don't know if he's the guy. I yeah. hope he takes this week off. Because there's reports coming out saying that this was not him being written out of the franchise. It was right. He needs to sit. He right. needs to calm down and kind of go. And maybe this helps. He's been with Andy Dalton for two years. Maybe Andy Dalton can help him. I because I think Andy Dalton is also a very mature man where he knows where he is in his career. Yeah, and and Andy spoke after the game. And talked about that, right? He talked about his relationship with Bryce. They've talked every day, he said this week, just about everything. And um, I think Andy going in and now showing Bryce what he's been talking about, like what they've been teaching in practice and what Andy might be have been relaying to Bryce, seeing it in practice will help Bryce. Seeing mm -hmm. the offensive line play well will help Bryce. Get, it will give Bryce confidence. And inevitably, when we do see Bryce again this year, and I do think we will, for one reason or another, see Bryce again this year, I hope that we he comes back looking more like the Bryce that was so confident in college and just trusted his arm and trusted his receivers and trusted his offensive line. You know, that's what we need to see from Bryce if we are not going to be drafting a quarterback next year. No. I mean, I I agree. I I hope we see Bryce come back if he comes back look confident like Andy did today. Yeah. I mean, Andy don't look like a competent confident quarterback. I mean, honestly, yeah. you say 26 for 30, 37 319 and two three touchdowns. I don't care who you are. Pa That's a good, Patrick That's a good Mahomes, day. Mahomes. Yeah. That's a great game. That's still a yeah. good game. No interceptions. Yeah. So, great game. That's a great game. Like for, for anybody, right? Yeah, I mean, I, with Bryce, I don't know. I mean, of course, we haven't talked about it, but there was a report that came out that four teams had made trade offers to the Panthers for Bryce, and all four were shut down. Now, the Panthers say that's because they still want Bryce to be here. They want him to be the guy, and, you know, this is just a reset for him, not a let get out of town. But you just wonder if those offers had been a little more enticing. Oh, yeah. You know, what is, what is the compensation you think that the Panthers would have to get to feel good about trading Bryce? I don't know. I, I don't know at this point what it would is it, be. Oh, I mean, a second? A second round pick? I don't know. I mean, I that seems like a lot. That seems like I don't think I'd want anything less. I was gonna say that seems like very little for what you gave up for him. It does, but can you think about it that way? I mean, or do you think about it as Dave Canales thinks about it and says, you know, I've come in here. This is my quarterback. I didn't give up anything for him. I just got here, and he's the quarterback. Whatever happens with him happens. From zero for for me. I got this toy I, and it was already broken. Yeah, I mean, maybe that's the way we have to think about it as Panthers fans. Is that this is just an investment that we're not going to get a return on. Uh, I think in his second year, a second round pick would be the minimum I would be willing to somewhat accept. Yeah. Now, again, maybe later on this year after the season, a third round pick would be comparable but i mean we gave up a second round pick for sam darnold who's who's balling out in minnesota i feel like sam darnold but, looks great yeah i mean <laughs> i was watching that a lot of that game today that was a sam darnold looks really good but yeah i uh i don't know man i mean I, I don't think it makes a lot of sense to trade him in the season unless you do get a first round offer right or a second round offer um but i could see the off season especially depending on where they're Picking in the draft and everything. I mean that it does kind of seem it's heading that direction. But we'll see. 
Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah, uh, you oh. mentioned the, the penalties earlier, 7 for 51. Uh, they need to clean that up a little bit. Again, that's why I say this wasn't a perfect game. It was. They've got a lot to improve on. It was just a really good game. Mostly because they won, and you know, as someone who hasn't seen many wins lately, it's yeah. it's it's nice. It's a nice repeat. It's nice. It's really nice. And it wasn't like a desperate win. It was last second field goal. It was like, hey, we won. Right. We're 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 backing off in the fourth quarter. That's something we haven't had. I mean, I just really enjoyed watching this game. There was no stress. You know, it was just all good. It was all fun. I mean, that's that's a perfect game for me. Yeah. Just, you know, no, I didn't have to worry this game at all. We were a- ahead from the beginning, and you could tell from that first drive that this was going to be different. Yeah. So so this is a little uh, PG-13, but I, I used to get really nervous on Panthers games where, like, I would get a, a tumby rubbly and I used to have to go to the mm. restroom right before the game. <laughs> and, it, and my wife, Sylvia was like, Hey, you, cause I had to go to the bathroom. She goes, Oh, are you nervous? I was like, honestly, <laughs> I haven't been nervous in like a year because I've just given up. Right. <laughs> I was like, this is just the fact that I drank a lot of coffee or caffeine this morning. Sorry. But <laughs> I was like, I quit caring because of them. But, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, that's that's it's just one of those games where like the whole second half you knew we were going to win. Yeah. And you were just what you weren't you were just watching the because it was fun. You weren't watching out of some sense of obligation. Right. Like, I got to finish. It's my team. I got to watch it. You know, I, I'd rather go do anything else right now, but I got to watch it. No, you were watching because you wanted to because mm-hmm. we were all having fun. We were texting all, you know five different groups i was texting today like it's just everyone is stoked yes it's a good day good day to be a panthers fan and the giant roomba was happiness (laughs) yes and our buddy did end up going to the game Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we thought about trying to get him on to uh, share his reaction from the from man on the street style but didn't work out we uh, will have technology him, wise. <laughs> we we will have him on uh, probably next episode to talk about the game and ha- what. Mm-hmm. First of all, the big Roomba looks awesome. I I will. It does, yeah. <laughs> it does look really nice, really. So cool. we'll we'll get his feedback on the Roomba, but I I, I don't know. I it, that was partly my fault because you know I had the hiccups. I <laughs> I I had I had some was... <laughs> drinking issues that you know. We're still still going through, so. No, it's it's nobody's fault. Something sometimes these things just don't work out. Uh, also, I think technology wise, we'd had to figure out how to add that third person, and that probably would have taken too long. Oh, we get moment, an Adam. So. It's just you know yeah. he wouldn't show up on video, and then we, right, yeah. right, yeah. Uh, so we'll do it. We'll do it right. We'll do it right when we have him on. But um, but yeah, he uh, obviously he was. He's got a lot, of, a lot to say. I think just from yeah. what he said in our in our text group, uh, some of it definitely PG thirteen. Speaking of, I just got a message. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, but uh, yeah, man, uh, just good day. Sweet Caroline, baby. Sweet Caroline. Good day. Yeah. All right. Any last thoughts before we sign oh, off? Oh, we got oh, heroes, heroes, zero, zero. Zero. Sorry. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Don't 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 deprive us of I mean, handing out our, our our famous awards. Our famous <laughs> awards that the heroes haven't been much heroes. It was CMC's award for the longest right. time, and then he left, and it was like anybody yeah, want to take this? Anymore, right? Any anybody <laughs> want to take this, please? <laughs> it's been vacant for two and a half years. It feels like. Oh man. Um. All right, well, who's your hero for this game? I'm Andy Dalton. It's got to I mean, be. Yeah, I, be. I, I think Chuba and Deontay definitely deserve credit, but, I mean, Andy Any Dalton, other day, they would be those guys. Andy Dalton came in, yeah. orchestrated this offense, was the maestro that made this offense run, and it, 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 it proved it. It looked good. 
I just came up with something. What? All right. This is called the Meow Mix Award. Oh. If you and I both agree on the hero of the game, it becomes mm. the Meow Mix Award. Oh. So Andy Dalton gets the Meow Mix Award this week. Yeah. Because often we don't agree. Or yeah. we ha- or there are two like worthy candidates, right? So this will be kind of a, a not often thing. No, yeah. All right. Meow Mix Award. Meow Mix. <laughs> Make it sound <laughs> <All> right. rough. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, I don't want to do a zero. I don't either. I don't, I don't have one. I mean, who who would you pick? I mean, I thought every. I mean, my everybody Sanders played well. Maybe would be just yeah. the least impactful. But again, I'm not gonna. You know, maybe blocking wise, he did well. I, I didn't really notice, but yeah, I don't want to give one. I no concur. Zero. I no I zero. agree. Like, there's there's no point to give a zero in this type of performance. Yeah, agree. All right. All right. We want to thank everyone for listening. If you like the show, please let your friends know. Please follow us on Twitter at Meow Mix Podcast. If you have any questions or comments, you can email us at mailbag at meowmixpodcast.com. If you leave a five-star review with a comment on Apple Podcast, we'll read it on our show. Please like and subscribe on YouTube. Jay, I have your hat. I am sending it. I am sorry. I was busy this week with work. I almost got a hat. I know. Send out the hat, man. I am trying. <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, we'll be back on Friday to discuss uh, late Thursday or Friday to discuss the Panthers upcoming matchup against the Bengals of Cincinnati. Oh, I got a, I got another friend going to that game. Oh, that's going to be a fun game with Andy Dalton starting like at least a yeah. potential fun game. It has the potential. It has It feels like they all have the potential now, right? It really does. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy this, guys. Enjoy this. It, it, it only happened twice last year. Just yeah. enjoy it. All right. Well, uh, until then, everybody stay safe out there and keep pounding. <laughs>